you know what? Regardless of what happens that you want activity in your life, material life, know this. God promises everything. The fullness of life. God has promised eternal life if they believe in the Son of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the gift of God. It was from here before you were born. And so, what that means is simple because God promised eternal life to those who believe in Jesus Christ. If you don't believe, what do you have? God promised you will be blessed. The Bible says He tells us, I see you being true to pain under the trouble. I see you being true to pain. I see you being true to hurt. No matter how long you may be, God says you walk away with what? You will be God promised to be the church. And so you may have to go to bless you while you're not rich. It's bless you always about who changes you. God bless you in so many ways that you can't even imagine. You can hear me like you can walk into the ear and me. And that's the thing. That's who will be blessed. God bless you for that the Lord is protecting you and reward you. So God always protects and reward those who love you. God promise you will be blessed. You are blessed. God will be excited to be excited. And to be excited. He did. God will be Never 
You know, people will be like, she was a tough one. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to cheer the gene button line. Yeah, that's, that's an issue that comes. It's the Abraham was going in for shopping and neglecting the crops. I'm talking to Jesus Christ. God promised the Abraham the saints of many of the world. You choose to say, uh, to mm -hmm. I want to first to say today, and not all of us are the saints of Jesus. We have been promised so many blessings to Jesus, Christ, but it's not for us. You want to go into the blessing of Jesus, Christ. you want to go into the things of the world. God promise comes with a condition that you would love his only begotten son that he gave to save you. He is not going to force you to walk with him. He is not going to force you to love him. He is not going to force you to put in search of him. And when you want to deeply see the promise that God has for you, you must choose to walk with his son, Jesus Christ. You must choose a new life. You must come. Put your lips on the teeth in your eyes. He is the best. And then you must know the promise that the world is walking in this new life. And you do it by being baptized in the Spirit. In the Spirit. In the Son. In Jesus Christ. Not in Jesus. You do it by being the Son. And no one else will choose the world. I'm going to walk in the promise of God. Then you choose to serve. So that he can be. So God promised an answer with some condition that we love is a son. And when the son happens, if you want to be my disciple, then you must obey my teaching. There is so much blessing that comes to Jesus Christ. So much promise that comes to the sin. God promised that nothing would ever separate us from the blood that comes to Jesus. God promised that you will have eternal when you choose Jesus. God promised to never leave you or forsake you. God promised that he will be and see what you have to listen. You have to talk to the people who break their hearts for you. You have to talk to the people who break their hearts for you. And you have to talk to the people who are different. You have to talk to the people who are different. You have to talk to the people who are different. You have to talk to the people who are different. You have to talk to the people who are different. You have to talk to the people who are different. But God will never go and break his promise to you. God will be easy to turn on. You need nothing God to do. Be done. Oh, God did promise keeper. But you have to choose him for he can give you a promise. I don't know what the world's offering you or what the world's promising you, but I can tell you something that if you are walking in this world, Christ bless, then your life is meaningless. It may sound harsh, but that's what the world is today. You have to choose to walk with the world, or you choose to walk with God. You can't have both ways. And so what's your choice to do? You have heard the message of the promise of Jesus today. You are reading and seeing that God still holds his promise even from the beginning of time. Choose by Abraham. Now that promise comes through his son Jesus Christ. Let's just stand up on the promises of God today. I don't know about you, but I've been standing on the promise of God. So let's just stand on the promise of God today. And let's invite God to do our heart to walk with us and to talk to you. So you have a message today. What are you going to take? 
to be in God's arms. What do you invite me to come into your heart? What do he take? You know, giving you all these promises on your life. He will wake up. What do he take? Are you going to continue to stand in this promise? Are you going to believe in the promise? Jesus said in the promise of the Father, and you call him that and that cross, that you walk out the grave, that he has turned the whole thing up to the fullest promise that just came from the heart of the Almighty. That's he's given it to you. What you going to do about Today, you only have to make one choice. To stand as God's promise. I thought it's funny you might me to do that today. I want God to be the stand over the church today. And you are standing on God's promise. But there's something you don't want to experience the great promise of God. But there's someone you who's struggling with some pain, who's struggling. And they can't even understand what to do about it. And yet, who like to see as he are doing company. But he's going to anxiety and depression. And he's going to that those who keep their eyes in the experience purposes. Just the great promise of God. But all of these promises are given only to those who believe in Jesus Christ. So I want to invite you today to walk in God's promise. If you feel like you have not experienced God promise in your life, then come to the arch today. Experience what it means to fully attain, receive, observe, and control the promise of God that comes to show his son, Jesus. But it's not easy for you. All you have to do. Is that today, 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 I want you to experience the cross. I want you to stand on this cross. No matter what you want to do in life, when you are walking with God, you will make sure you are all right. I know what you're going to today, and I know what you're going to do with your son, Jesus. I know if you're not laughing, you're watching right now. God may lead you to the exact field for you to see. Because He wants you to live in His promise. Jesus is the promise of God. I see Him that comes in heaven back to the earth. I see that comes in the Bible that is full of blessings. But you have to choose to walk with Jesus. You have been grieved by your home for a long time. You have been practicing your home for a long time. I want to invite you to do something in you today and try Jesus. Let him come into your heart today. Let him be a part of you. Let him fall you a part with you. Let him put away the pain and the rest and that's it for you. Try Jesus. That's what God wants to you. And if you try that, we'll be with you. If you try that, I'll give you everything you need. If you try that, you. If you try that, take care of your enemy. Try Jesus. And I pray that some of the lives will find Jesus today. All you have to do is step today to 888 Click that link and find Jesus. Let's go to the Lord in heaven. Heavenly Father, I pray for the person who's watching right now. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would open their eyes to see the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that as they see the gospel, receive the gospel, that their eyes will be open and they will become. I pray that they have already choose Jesus and have already walked with him. That you will strengthen them and encourage 